Hey there, this is John Barton from JB Cases. So uh, I'm gonna do a quick video where uh, I show you guys how to clean a case. Um, usually it just takes, you know, soap and water. So we're gonna see if that works here. Um, like just nice, like warm water, a little bit of, uh, like I, I recommend bar soap, um, you know, just lather it up a little bit and put it on. But um, you know, you can, I'm gonna use dish soap here because that's what I have right at the moment. And we're gonna see how it works. All right, let's see what's going on here. This was a question that was asked by uh, by somebody online, and I think I've made some videos before on this. But anyway, so I have here this old case. Um, we took this in on uh, either on trade or on uh, under warranty somehow. I'm not sure why, but um, let's see here. Oh, I see what it is. It was coming up right there. So we've we've that's this case is about five years old. So we've since fixed that problem. But anyway. You can see here how it looks. So it's a light colored case, orange, and uh, definitely got a lot of dirt and stuff going on. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a section of it and we'll say, let's say from here to here, right? And we'll clean this and we'll see how it works. And then uh, then you guys can see how it works. Now, um, oh, it looks like my camera is getting a little bit weird there. Okay, so there we go. All right. Let's get busy on this real quick. You guys see that? All right, so what I've got here is I've got palm olive, sponge, okay? Now you don't wanna go crazy on this. You don't wanna like scrub it to death because you'll, you'll fuzz up the fibers here. You'll, pill, you'll make the fibers pill up. You just, I, the reason I got the sponge is because you can go gently into it. Um, do have a real soft toothbrush just in case you had like extra spots here that you want to do. Now you can do that gently. Don't go crazy and don't go at one of those with, you know, super hard bristles on it. Um, and I have a uh, soft cloth here, you know, to, uh, to kind of rub it in and wipe it off. So let's go for it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sponge, put it in the water. Of course, if you've got a sink or something, you can do that. Now this water here is also not warm. All right, I didn't take the time to warm any up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this, put a little bit on here. And you know it's dish soap, so it doesn't take a lot. And let's get started. So now all I'm gonna do, now by the way, if you pour water onto the case, before I do this, I'm gonna show you something. If you pour water on the case like this, you don't have to worry about it because the back side of this is waterproof on here. So you don't, there's nothing, the water can't go through this. So it's all gonna sit right here on the surface. It's not going through to the tube or, or hurting anything else on there. Now, of course, if you get it on the leather right here, you know, you should definitely, of course, I wouldn't recommend just pouring a glass of water on there like I just did. But I do recommend kind of going in and um, putting a little water on there. And then now we're just gonna put gentle lathering See, I'm going in gentle. Now, one thing people don't know about soap is you should you should put it on and let it sit for a minute because what happens is soap has what's called surfactants in it. And I only know this because I owned a car wash. Um, but the surfactants are actually what breaks up the dirt, right? It's like a chemical reaction that happens and it just kind of starts breaking up that surface dirt and that's what allows it to, to move away. So I'm just gently, I'm not even doing this hard. I'm just gently going on these stains right here, see? And you can do a little bit more on, on stains that are, uh, that are particularly, see, and I might've even put a little too much on here, but it's okay. So we're just gonna let that sit for a second here. And we'll see how it does. This one's pretty dirty here. I'm gonna take this off because we don't really need this on here for our demonstration. And I did this before and I did it with, I did just water and just water and just water and soap actually worked pretty good. So we're gonna work that in. I'm kind of working it in. I'm not going hard on it. Don't use this side. Don't use the, the, uh, the abrasive side here. 
Just go in gentle and kind of work the soap in. You can even work this in with your hand if you want, so you can kind of push it in and you know make sure it gets all inside there. So while I'm doing this, um, now see I'm getting a little bit, I'm scrubbing a little bit more, a little bit harder in these spots that seem to have a little bit more dirt going on. This is in response, by the way, to a thread on, uh, on one of the Facebook pool forums asking how do I clean off this case. Now this is not a, this is a question we get a lot. And like I said, I think I've done this before. But I make so many videos, I can't even remember what I did. So I'll just make this one and then we'll label it and then that'll be that. Okay, so now we've got that soap on there like that. Now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna pour a little bit of water on here and we're gonna rinse it off. We'll see how we do. It really depends on what's here too, what it is. So if these are like grease stains or something embedded in here, you got to remember something here with these cases is that this the fiber is porous. I mean it's it's uh it's dimpled. See the texture? So what that means is is that that um it's essentially a bunch of little hills and valleys, you know, thousands of little hills and valleys here. So whatever gets inside of there, it's actually in the crevices in there. So you may, depending on how dirty the case is, you may have to get back in and work it, you know? You have to really work it in there. No, no, let's, see, let's try the toothbrush and see what we can do. Okay. Because the toothbrush is what's, it's made to get inside those crevices. But remember, don't go too hard. You just want to go gentle and try to, you're trying to let the soap do the work here. Okay, and you're just going very gentle, let the, let the bristles get in there. And see, I can see right there that that's making a big difference right there where I was using the toothbrush. Now let's pick another spot here and then we'll show it like right there. Okay, see this one right here? Right there. So now watch what happens. We're going to take a little bit more soap, put it on there. What did I say? Right here, right? A little bit more soap on there right at that spot. Take our brush, dip it in water. And we're just gently going in. So it, you know, takes a little bit of patience and elbow grease here sometimes. This this case is really dirty. Um, I can imagine this guy had this probably four or five years or so before it made its way back to us. Oh yeah, it's working great. See that? Wipe that off so you can really see it. That might take a few more times, but you can really see how that lifted that up right there. That was right here. Okay, let's find another spot though that's like really dirty. How about right here? Okay, how about right here? Okay, so you guys can see that. We'll see what the before and after looks like on there. So this one looks like I'm kind of running out of soap a little bit, so I'm gonna put just a little dab more of soap on there. A little extra water. 
Now we're gonna lather it up right there. Okay, and see what I'm doing here is I'm getting a lot of lather on it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get these bubbles going on there because you really wanna get that in to the crevices as much as possible there. And then just let it sit there for a few seconds and let it let the soap work. Now let's put this up here so I can show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so you can see we got the lather working in there. Now let's go. But like I said, sometimes with a case, it's, if it's really, really dirty, it might take a couple cleanings. See, now I'm not going super hard on this, you know, because I just want to, I want to gently move it. You don't want to raise these fibers up on here. So I'm just putting a very little bit of pressure on there, and just very, very little, almost none. All right, let's see what we got there. Now this is just a few seconds of doing this, right? So let's see what we got going on. Get that in the water a little bit so we can get some rinse water on there. Yeah, now to me, to me that's a lot lighter than it was just a few minutes ago. You know, so I might need to take some extra time in there Here's another little spot right here. But to me, that's that's pretty good right there. But let's look, let's try this spot now. Focus right on that little spot right there and see if we can get that to come out a little bit. See if I can get that to come out a little bit better. I also recommend, you know, you can, you can scotch guard your case if you wanna to add another layer of protection on there. What I recommend though is you go go watch all the videos, the best practices on scotch guarding. Whatever works for backpacks, that's going to work for your, for these cases. I think a lot of people sometimes they kind of go overboard on the scotch guard and then they, they end up with like a type of glaze that they don't like. See how we did. All right, that's definitely getting a lot lighter right there. See how it's coming up? It's just like anything else, too, on this type of stuff is that um, anytime there's a stubborn stain, um, it's very rarely is it permanent, permanent, um, but sometimes it takes a few different techniques to, to actually start breaking it up and getting that. Um, getting that off there but you can look and you can see here this is starting to dry up a little bit and you can kind of see that it's uh, a lot of that has come off already you know there's still some stuff like this line here you can see it's a lot lighter right here than it is right here I'll show you guys that 